Tonight, I want to introduce you to my daughter-in-law, Brittany, and our good friend, Andrea Royer. And they have a real special demo. You can see a little sewing machine up here. But don't be afraid, those of you that didn't take, well, do they even offer home ec in school anymore? I, I don't, do they, they, I don't think they do. I think it went with the budget cuts. Anyway, uh, we all learn to sew in home ec in school, but you guys are going to be inspired to get out the old sewing machine, dust off the, you know, the cobwebs, and, uh, and take a stab at sewing, because this is such a simple project they're going to share with us now. So you guys take it away. Okay. Hi, ladies. Hi. It's nice to be here this evening. Thanks for having us out here. Um, we are here to show you a simple project called the five-step dress. I'm Brittany, and this is Andrea. She works at Harvest at the Riverside campus, and um, she's like a, a production manager for mm -hmm. the video and art department, but she's real creative. She wears a lot of hats. So um, we're going to show you this dress, and it's a simple dress, but it's very versatile. Um, it looks great in a variety of fabrics, and it can be dressed down as a bathing suit cover-up even, and it can be dressed up with a pair of heels and a nice necklace. So um, the first step to the dress is gonna be measuring. So in order to measure, Andrea is gonna show you. So um, your first measurement is shoulder to shoulder, and this is gonna determine the width of your dress. So if you do it across your back, you get more of an accurate measurement. So that's your first measurement. And then your second measurement is going to be right down the sides as long as you want it to be. So if you want to go to your knee, you're gonna measure from your shoulder, down to your knee. And that's it for your measurements. Okay, so you write those two numbers down, the width and the length. And you're gonna um, add six inches to the width to give you a little wiggle room so it's a nice flowy dress. And then um, I do. you can do your fingertips plus a couple inches, you can do to your knee, whatever your decided length is, and you're gonna double the length. So you'll cut a big rectangle of fabric, and then you'll. the second step is to fold it in half. So you're going to fold it in half right sides together like Andrea is showing you, and you'll have your original measurements again. Right sides together means you want the outside of your fabric on the inside of the fabric. Mm -hmm. So it's inside out. Okay, so now we have our fabric folded together, right sides together, and the next step is the neck hole. So you're going to lay your fabric on a cutting mat or something that you're not going to ruin, and <laughs> you're going to grab a plate. And if, if you want like a circular neckline, you can use a plate. If you want a more boat type neckline, you can use a more oval object. Um, we just grabbed a house plate, but um, something like this. So you're gonna take the middle of the fabric and mark that. And then you're gonna go two and a half inches down and make another mark. And you'll place the plate right in the middle. And then once you have the plate there, you can take a fabric marker or um, fabric chalk, and you can trace a line around the plate, and then use some fabric shears to cut it. We're gonna use a rotary cutter. It's actually a better tool if you have it, but don't feel like you have to go buy one. Um, it just creates one smooth line. But if you don't have that, fabric scissors are great. So once you have it cut, you are gonna have something like this. You can already see the dress forming, right? So now you have the fabric folded right sides together and you have the neckline cut out. We're gonna measure about six and a half inches to seven inches down from the shoulder and place your first pin and that's gonna be your armhole. So um, you can also measure a tank top or a shirt you have at home if you want more precise measurement, but the average is about six and a half or seven inches. Also the proper way to insert your pins is gonna be horizontally. Um, I just learned this, but you can do it vertically too, but properly is, is horizontally. That way, if the machine happens to go over it, hopefully it won't break. It might, so just cautionary, but um, hopefully it won't break and it can run smoothly over the pin. And then also you don't poke yourself when you're trying to get them out if you're taking them out before you pin it. So here's our dress. It's all pinned and now she's gonna sew it. I don't typically sew standing, so <laughs> if it looks a little awkward. So we pre-sewed we pre -sewn one of the sides for you just to save time on stage here. But basically she's gonna sew a straight stitch from that first pin marking your armhole down to the bottom. And she's gonna sew it about a fourth of an inch away from the side, which is your typical foot of the sewing machine. 
So if you just line up the edge of the foot with the edge of your material, that should be a pretty good guide. So you sew straight down the side. And also, something important is um, on most sewing machines, you'll see a little U-shaped button, like a U-turn. That's called a back stitch. So if you start with the back stitch and you end with the back stitch, you don't have to worry about tying a knot or anything. You can just start your stitch, run it through to the bottom, and then snip the thread, and you're good to go. Another thing that's important with this dress is the right kind of fabric. The fabric we're using is going to be a stretch fabric. So it's going to be a no-fray no material. Um, you can use like a bathing suit material. You can use a stretch linen, a stretch cotton. Some felts are like this. Um, anything with a little bit of give. And the important thing to this is that um, you're not going to have to bind any of the seams. You don't have to bind your neckline, the armholes. You're just going to cut and sew. So. Um, the no stretch fabric is important. If you're looking, if you're a first time buyer of fabric, you can look at the bolt and just check the edge that's been cut. And if it's frayed, it's not gonna work. But if it looks like a smooth line, it's not gonna fray. So now we have the dress. It's sewed up the sides. You're gonna turn it inside out and you're finished. Simple, okay? <laughs> We brought up a couple models to show you. We chose a few different patterns and a few different fabrics. So even some little versions. So this dress, it's so um, versatile. It's all in the fabric you use. And you can go from an evening look to a daytime look um, to a look for the little ones. And um, you can have fun with it, too. We. Um, doubled up two of them because the fabric was see-through. So we did one underneath, and it's even with a tank top sleeve. It's real easy. If you have a tank top you like, just put it over the dress, and then you cut around the sides of the tank top, and it cuts the sleeves off, and you have two different dresses. Yeah. So the black one was a little sheer, and the coral one was a little sheer. We added the second layer, like Andrea was saying. Um, as you see, the black one has some high heels with it. We dressed it up with a necklace so you could wear it out to dinner. The coral one, that might be my favorite. I just, I like that material. But um, also this one on Sophia is super cute. We tied a knot in the bottom. She's wearing it with her converse and a, you know, cute little bun. And then we have Stella in the felted dress. Um, I, the first time I made this, I was a little tired and I didn't measure the neckline right. So it was big on her. But when I tried it on, it became a shirt. So Taylor's wearing it as a shirt. <laughs> Uh, so that works too, depending on the material you use. And then I cut, I used a smaller plate and I cut the right neckline for Stella there. And then Lucy's dancing back here. She's wearing a little felted, <laughs> a little felted dress too. But I hope we inspired you guys to break out your sewing machine or if you already have a sewing machine, try something new. It's really, really simple. Um, again, we'll put the directions online so you can look at them when you do it. But um, I just encourage you to try it out. You'll love your, you'll love your new dress. Thank you.